Hi, this is Andy Nathan with AndyNathan.net. Since the theme of the last few days has been season of social networking upheaval, as you can see here, I decided let's take a look at another site that's had some recent upheaval. Whoop. That site is Google Analytics. For those of you who don't know what Google Analytics is, and I'm clicking the access button as I'm talking about this, Google Analytics is a site that actually analyzes your traffic coming to your site, blog, whatever the case may be. And it's free. It's owned by Google, obviously. And they give it out for free. It's just a really cool, unbelievable tool to actually measure your traffic to your site. It's so helpful. It's so great. And there's so many dynamic tools in here. I can't really cover everything with this. Also, if you're looking for a step-by-step -step on how to install Google Analytics, take a look below. In June, I talk about how to insert Google Analytics into your WordPress through plugins. So I'm not going to review that again and, and duplicate this. I want to talk about some of the new stuff that they have here on Google Analytics. Let's dive in to AndyNathan.net. I hit AndyNathan.net, and we load it up. And this is my analytics for the back end of my site. As we're going through, first thing that you see, there's a long chart across the middle of the page. This is my traffic for the last 30 days. I could do a lot of things with this. I could uh, change the dates. I could compare it to past dates. So if I want to compare it to the last month, I could just hit apply and I could see what's going on. However, I have a rough idea of what's going on in terms of my traffic, and it shows me 100% of total visits. And then, in addition to that, I can just go to each date and see where the traffic is. So, for example, in November, I had 829 visits from StumbleUpon. Actually, in yesterday, if you take a look, you probably noticed a bit of a surge. I had 1,000, 1,098 visits from StumbleUpon and some other sources as well. That's part of the reason why I keep bringing StumbleUpon up because it brings a ton of traffic and it's a lot more quality. It's also more domestic for me. I like, the, you know what, I have visitors from all over the world. However, 90% of my clients are here in the United States. 90% of my clients are here in the United States. I want more people from the United States visiting my site. I can customize this however I want. For example, when I'm going through the compare, I could actually see like my traffic. I can compare month over month my growth. And I told you StumbleUpon delivered a punch for traffic this month. It's a lot of traffic. I think I had about 3,500 visits from StumbleUpon. And I could show you that in a few minutes. And one of the things I want you to note is I could actually start comparing how I did day by day, what's going on, what are the trends. So I'm going to get rid of the, sh the compare button here because I, I just want to make this easier to read as we're going through here. And I'm going to scroll down. And what they also do here on this main page is they'll give me a lot of the basic statistics. For example, I'm, I'm not going to go down to demographics yet. They'll give me like how many visitors I had total, which is 14,500. I'm counting that last one for myself. 13,324 unique visitors. That means if you take a look at this little pie chart over here on the right, that 90.81% of my visitors are new, and 9.19% or 1,332 visitors are returning. Additionally, I had 18,000 page views. I also had 1.26 page views per, bit, per visit. The average time on site is about 55 seconds. The average bounce rate is 74.36. Now, that's a little high still for me. However, what I did find out was that my bounce rate has dropped about 10% from la the previous month. I was doing a comparison before I started the video. Scroll down here. Scroll and down. And I can take a look at the demographics of the site. I could take a look at what language everyone speaks. And fortunately, the overwhelming majority of people speak English when they come to my site, which makes it a lot easier for me. So as you could see, 77% uh, speak US English, 4.88% speak Great British English, 
3.46% speak English. The rest speak other languages. I don't know how they exactly they found me, but they did. I feel like I'm in, uh, what's it, uh, Back to the Future. I, can, I don't know how they found me, but they did. Anyways, <laughs> moving forward. We can also take a look at the countries and territories where I get all the different traffic from. Like I said, I'm shooting for more U.S. traffic because that's where most of my clients are from. I have, in from the U.S., 7,000 visits. That's 48.6% of my visits are here in the U.S. That, to me, is one of my most important statistics. Because, I, like, I like I said, 90% of my business comes from people in the United States. That means 90% of my business comes from people in the United States. I want as many people as possible in the United States coming to my site. Get to my target market. And that's where my target market has been. Additionally, you can take a look at the United Kingdom, India, Canada, Malaysia, Philippines, Australia. You go down the line, you can see the number of visits. I'm not going to read something that you could see on the screen. I'm also going to go next to system. One of the things that I find interesting is 33% of all my visits come from people using Chrome. That's kind of a huge statistic. 33% of my visits come from Chrome. That's amazing. Firefox is another 28%. Internet Explorer is another 21 It's almost 22%. Safari is 7%, or a, th a little over 1,000. And it just goes down after that. I also know here that in terms of operating systems, there's not a lot of people that come to my site who are using mobile devices. I used to have a mobile website, but it slowed down my regular site so much, I thought it wasn't even worthwhile to have. I do have a .mobi, however I don't use it. This is telling me that I'm probably right now I'm okay with not having a .mobi because I don't really need to use it if, what was that, 73.5% of my visits come from Windows, 13.46% or 13.5% come from Macintosh. I do get 3% coming in through an iPhone. iPad should be big enough, hopefully, that they could see the entire screen. It, it just doesn't make sense to me if it's going to slow down another 86% of all my visitors. First thing, we go to demographics. We go to location. I already showed you the location before. showed you that 7,000 percent or 7,000 of the 14,000 14, and a half visitors come from the United States. This puts it out into a map form. It's, I could then go go into traffic sources. So here we go, we have traffic sources. And one of the things that you'll see here is that 52% of all my traffic comes from search. Another 32% comes from referral traffic. Another 11% comes from direct traffic, and about three three and a quarter percent comes from uh, feeds, like my RSS feed. This is a good number for me because I could actually track a lot of where everyone's coming from. Apologize, I'm not going to go through the search with you because I prefer to keep my search terms private. Apologize, there are some things that you just can't see. And I'm going to go into sources. I'm going to go into all traffic, and you can see the breakdown of what each site brings in. And I mentioned before Google is top with search. Then I also talked about StumbleUpon. As you can see here, StumbleUpon brings in, I said 3,500 before, I guess I overspoke, 3,335 visits every month. And so let's say I want to take a look at StumbleUpon and break down those numbers. Well, remember how I told you that there was a 1,100 visits yesterday and November 26th there were 850 visits? Well, now I can see what percentage of that was stumbled upon. As you can see, it's actually kind of interesting. They're both very similar numbers. So I'd have to take a look because I'm sure that means that either the search traffic was a lot higher on one of these dates or there's some other variable. I could actually find, figure out where all the traffic is coming from and I can see what the numbers are look, look like every single day. Additionally, I could also take a look see what the, the direct 
search looks like. I can figure out how many people are coming in direct and where they're actually coming into. So it shows me these are the landing pages. Last month, 158 people came into the augmented reality link that I had. And that means they directly linked in there. Well, that has been it. I know this is just a brief overview of how Google Analytics works. However, the new Google Analytics is so cool. There's things I haven't even gotten to right now, like social, how to measure engagement, and things like that, that are just really beyond awesome. Take a look at how to use this. Definitely take a look at making sure that this is more a part of how you use your business and how you actually figure out. I will talk to you soon. Make sure if you want to set it up on WordPress that you go below and, and click on the link. Talk to you soon.